In this video, I'm going to unboxing the Google Pixel 7a mobile. The main reason why I purchased this mobile right now is because of the price. Right now, without offers, this mobile is available for close to 30,000 rupees, and during the sales, it will come to under 30,000 rupees. So, to check all the things in this mobile and whether it is good or not, I'm doing this review. First, like this video and we start the unboxing. This is how the box looks like. It's very slim and you can expect that there is no charger in the box. Inside the box, first we have the mobile. Below that, we get a connector for type A to type C, then one type C to type C cable and a small box that has some paperwork and a SIM ejector tool. These are the things we get in the box. The main reason why many people buy Pixel mobiles is for cameras and software experience. Peeling the protective film from the display, this is how it looks like. The name of this color is Coral. Yes, you heard that right. Initial impressions in hand, it feels a little heavy because previously I reviewing the Moto G85 mobile. The setup process is very simple and like all the Android mobiles. There are no fancy things you need to do. We will meet on the main screen. Alright, now setup is completed. Let's check the app bloatware. Coming to the app bloatware, it's nothing. This is the beauty part of Google Pixel mobiles. Now let's go to settings and check the free storage available and Android version. This is a 128GB variant that has 8GB of RAM. Out of 128GB, 13GB is used. So you get roughly 115GB of storage. This mobile was released last year and I think it comes with Android 13 out of the box. Let's see it. Yes, this mobile out of the box comes with Android 13 and right now the Pixel 7a mobiles are running with Android 14 and this mobile also got that update. I download that and install it later. Now let's check the weight of this mobile. It feels heavy on my hand even without any back case to it. Oh my god, it is 194 grams. That is why it is feeling heavy on my hand. I never used a mobile that comes with this much weight in recent days. Now let's have a look at the physical overview. This mobile doesn't come with any pre-applied screen protector or back case. On the top, one noise cancellation mic followed by antenna bands are there. On the right side, power on and off button followed by volume up and down buttons are there and some more antenna lines you can observe here. On the bottom, two speaker grills, a Type-C slot and one more antenna lines are there. This mobile is fully covered with antenna lines. On the left side, you get some more antenna lines and a SIM slot. Let's open this and check it. This Pixel 7a is supported for dual SIM but one is physical and another one is eSIM. Coming to the storage expansion, there is no slot for a micro SD card. On the back, you can see a dual camera setup and a flashlight. Let's open the camera app and click some photos. And I show you those photos as well. The camera app options are straightforward and nothing fancy it is. Don't worry, I post a dedicated camera review of Pixel 7a. How was it after Android 14 update? These are the photos that I clicked with this. That's the unboxing and first impressions of the Google Pixel 7a. For me, it feels like nothing much exciting. Because if a mobile box contains a lot of things, then it makes me more exciting to talk more about that. Anyways, I post dedicated videos of this mobile. So stay tuned by clicking the subscribe button and bell icon to the side of it. If you're watching this video after some weeks, check the description box for related videos of this Pixel 7a.